So let us begin. So one of the questions I ask all agents is, are you sending your buyers to realtor.ca or .com if you're in America? If you're doing that, I hope that at the end of this webinar, moving forward, you will never send any potential lead or client you know, outside of your website. Uh, and we're gonna go through why and, and how you can really leverage uh, IDX on your website. So what is IDX integration? Um, IDX just stands for Internet Data Exchange. Basically, every board or almost all boards in North America have some form of data feed, right? And we, you know, it's called the, the MLS or Multiple Listing Service. Pretty much that feed uh, is able to be integrated to your website. So they do that through an Internet Data Exchange. So the benefit of this is that individual agents like yourself, you can host your board's listings on your website. And this gives you, the agent, a competitive advantage, whereby you can direct your potential buyer clients to your website, and then they can find listings. Uh, and, and the benefit here is that they're going to reach out to you. So if so, there's a buyer on your website, and they're looking for listings, and they find something that they're interested in, they're, they're going to reach out to you and not the listing agent. Because with IDX, with the Internet Data Exchange, the listing, the, the listing agent is not shown, right? Everything looks as if it's yours. Your photo is there. The contact form is synced to you. So this is the competitive advantage you get with IDX. And that's why I, I really recommend that if you want a buyer to find listings, you want to direct them to your website. So let's talk about the benefits of IDX. I've already obviously gone through some of them, but let's just break it down. So without IDX, I mean, your website has many benefits, but IDX really gives it a practical application. So it's not just a business card. It actually has an app. It's a software on your website that allows, you know, uh, potential buyers to go there and view listings and it's updated every single day. So there's some practical application. Uh, again, as I mentioned, all the listings, they're synced to you and not the listing agent, right? So all the leads go to you. Uh, one of the beautiful things about IDX and the way that we've built the software um, is that it allows you to create customized feeds. So, I mean, I'm sure that you guys work with all types of clients, but most agents have a target market. And with IDX, you're able to create pages that feed specific listings that would attract your target market, right? So, for example, if you work with seniors, you may know of certain communities or certain types of properties or certain areas uh, where those listings, you know, would work for them versus first-time home buyers versus investors. So by leveraging IDX, you can create pages with customized feeds. So you get to set the criteria. And then when these clients go to that page, they're seeing listings that are relevant to them and, and not just a generic search. IDX listings integration has search engine optimization benefits. Now, I actually did a webinar a few weeks ago about SEO. So you can, I'll give you the link as well. So you guys can watch that one that it breaks it down. But basically, by having IDX on your website and the fact that it's updated every single day, we're sending signals to Google that your website is active. It's not just a, a, you know, something that's not being worked on. So it has some search engine optimization benefits and could help your ranking on Google. Last but not least, all the listings activity on your website is tracked and recorded. And we do that through our CRM called LeadBank CRM. And I actually wanna show you what that looks like. So just let me, give you an example here. So right here we have um, one of our agents websites and they got a lead and every single time that they use the website. So you'll notice here, there's an area here called website visits, right? So every single thing that this lead has done on your website is tracked. We know every single visit they've done. We know how many pages they viewed, all that sort of thing. Moreover, all the listings that they viewed, it's all consolidated right here for you. So before you make that call, you can kind of get an idea. So in this example, we know that this lead looked at seven listings. All of them were for sale. We could see the breakdown of residential versus condo versus commercial. We could see the price range they were looking into. And we can see the areas of interest. So these are the communities um, that they've been searching in. And of course, you can view more details here if you want to see the individual listings. So all of this happens in real time and is updated in real time. And you have all this access through our CRM uh, should you use it. I don't know if you have that in your subscription, you could use it. All right. So let's go back to the presentation. So we talked about some of the benefits of IDX. And I want to just show you guys a practical example of how to use it in the simplest case, right? 
Um, so let's actually go on to my website here. So all of you guys have access to the back end of your website, known as the agent panel, right? So as soon as you log in, um, you enter your dashboard. This is where you'll see all of the website stats. But what I really want to show you is how to create these custom filters, right? Because that's kind of the main feature here. So what you do is you go to page manager. So we click it right there. And just for the sake of, of making things easy, I'm going to click add page. And I'm just going to make it a hidden page. And for example, let's say that I wanted to make a feed that shows, you know, townhomes for sale in Oakville um, under $800,000 as an example. So I could just make the page name townhomes in Oakville. Okay. We're going to make that a content page. We're going to add the page. So this is how the listings, the IDX filtering works. So on your website, when, you, when you're adding content, you have all these options here. You have heading, you have text, you have featured listings. Right here, you have something called all listings. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna drag and drop that right here in the empty space. And now we can set out our filters. So the first question it's gonna ask is, what type of listings do I wanna show? So in this case, like, like I said, I wanna show townhomes. So I'm gonna show both residential and condo towns, right? I'm gonna omit commercial just by clicking that button. Uh, I only want to show con uh, townhomes for sale. I only want to show townhomes for sale in Oakville. So I just type the words Oakville and I could just click it right there. And you could do multiple cities at once, right? Something that actually you cannot do on realtor.ca. So for example, I can make it show Oakville, Mississauga, Brent. I could do as many as I want in here. But in this example, I'm just going to do Oakville. And then if you look here where it says advanced filters, when I click on that, I can actually set additional uh, customizations to this feed. Because like I said, I only want to show townhomes. So here, I want to say that the type of listing must equal, and then I could set my rules. So I'm going to unselect everything except for townhomes in residential, and I'm going to unselect everything except for townhomes for condos. And I could set my display settings. So this is just the way that it, it looks. So I like using the detail view. I don't really need the search bar. Um, so I'm just, you could play around with these as much as you want. And then we just press add and we hit save. So really you could make one of these in literally 20, 30 seconds, right? Uh, and let's just preview what this looks like. So once I've done that, it automatically right away, as you could see, it's feeding for exactly what I asked for. It's only showing me townhomes in Oakville and I could set as many additional parameters as I want, as I've shown you. And that's really how easy it is to set up IDX. It's how easy it is for you to leverage it to really get to your target market. So I could take this page that I've made and now I could advertise it. I could advertise it on my social media. I could do a Google AdWords campaign. I could you know, incorporate it into my newsletters. And I'm gonna talk more about that at the end of the webinar, but um, what I really wanted to highlight here is how easy it is to create a custom filter. All I did was create a page, I dragged and dropped the all listings widget and I set my filters. And of course I can go in here and edit my filter. So I can press the pencil here, open my filter up again, and I could add additional criteria. So I could say, you know what? I actually want to uh, add rentals. So we just add rentals here. We press add, we hit save. And just like that, it'll instantly adjust the filter. So if I refresh the page, you'll notice now rentals are included. And of course I could sort it from newest to oldest listing, oldest to newest, all that sort of thing. Okay, so let's get back to the presentation. So that was how, so these are the benefits of IDX and I've shown you how to create an IDX filter. So now let's talk about how to optimize IDX pages. So just, be, just having a page with listings is not really enough. Uh, I would recommend that you take some of these practices that I'm, I've laid out here when you're creating uh, IDX pages so that you can really optimize them. Not only optimize them for Google, right? Because that's a great way to get traffic is to start ranking for some of these keywords, uh, but also optimizing it for the, for the viewer, the person that's on the page. You want to give them some value. You really want to give them a reason to reach out to you. So here are some rules that I like to follow. When you're making a page that has listings, you should include at least 200 to 500 words in the page. So somewhere in the page, maybe if you have a page about a specific community, maybe talk about the community. Maybe have a few paragraphs just discussing the community. Uh, one great way of doing this uh, is I like to talk about stats in the area. So if I'm making a page about, you know, a specific community in Toronto, like the Annex, 
I could put real estate stats about the annex. And you could really be creative with this. So for example, if I know that I'm gonna be marketing this page to investors, I would include information or content that an investor wants to see. Like what is the return on investment over the last three years? What is the average rental price? You know, how many, how many days on the market um, do these listings generally go for? So this way, the person that's on the page, they're not just seeing listings, but they're getting some additional context that shows that you're really active in the area. Another thing that you want to do, and this is more for a search engine perspective, is you want to set your browser title, your description, and your heading tags. Now, if you don't know what these are, don't worry. Uh, I, again, I've, I've done a webinar and we have a lot of tutorials about this, uh, but it's very simple. This is basically the information that Google looks at when they are ranking your website. And just to give you an example of what that looks like, on that page that we made called Townhomes in Oakville, uh, in the page manager, you have this button right here that says SEO settings, okay? And when I click on that, I'm able to set you know, my URL, my browser title, my description. Don't worry about keywords, by the way. So this thing that says meta keywords, Google no longer looks at this, so don't worry about it. All they care about is your title and your description, and then they're gonna match whatever you've written here. They want to make sure that the page also has information that's relevant. So it all kind of connects together and that determines uh, the ranking, or at least that's one of the factors that determines the ranking of a page. So something to keep in mind. And of course, you can go through our, our tutorials that break down exactly what these are um, in, uh, in your own time. All right, so let's go back here. So as you build more pages, so this, this one's very important. So just because you have a page, about you know Oakville listings you have a page where it has listings about Oakville that's just step one really you want to start creating uh, an environment where you have many pages discussing that topic so maybe you have a page for all of Oakville listings and then maybe you have a completely different page you built about the real estate stack uh, real estate stats and then maybe you have a blog about you know some of the top communities in Oakville and you want to basically create all these pages uh, surrounding that topic and one of the most powerful things you can do is within each of these pages, you start linking them to each other. So for example, maybe you have a page about listings and in that page, you have a sentence that says, you know, discover the real estate stats, you know, for 2019. And then you link that text to another page within your website. So by creating kind of these internal links to your website, um, it really boosts your ranking. Uh, this is actually one of the key methods that Google uses to rank your pages and your website. So again, this, this is something that you're gonna do over time and I highly recommend you do over time. And I'm not, I'm not going to actually show you examples of agents who've done this uh, very soon. So uh, again, this kind of adds on to what I was saying. If you've written blogs related to the area that you were making the IDX page for, you want to maybe show those blogs on that page. Again, this is great for search engine optimization and just a way to let the buyer, the guy, the person who's on the page, you want them to know that, hey, look, I really know this area. Uh, you know, I'm the right agent to work with, right? So these are ways to optimize your IDX pages. And let me actually show you some examples of some agents who have done this, because I think the best way outside of showing you these words is showing you some examples of agents who have successfully leveraged IDX. So here's an example here. So you could see this website. Um, they have a, a tab here called Neighborhoods, and they have all the different neighborhoods in Toronto. And obviously they're focusing on condos because it's called the Toronto condo team. So if you look at King West, which is the page I'm on, so you could see they have, you know, a little headline here. They have a description about the area, kind of like I told you, 200 to 500 words. They added a video that they've created. And one cool thing they've done is they've, and this takes a lot of work, of course, but the benefits are extraordinary. They have pages for each and every condo in that community, right? So for example, if I click on, you know, 10 Morrison, it actually loads another internal page, just like I was telling you, start building in pages on pages, another page just for this condo, again with the des uh, description, and most importantly, all the listings in that condo, right? So this is, this is a great way to leverage IDX. The way that um, this agent in particular is doing it is garnering thousands of you know, hits every single month. Um, and again, it takes work, of course, but uh, the ROI is, is amazing. And this is something you could do at the comfort of your bed at any time in the day. It really isn't something that you have to do in specific times, and that's one of the beauties of digital marketing, right? Here's another example of an agent who's leveraged IDX. So it's a website all about townhomes, and you'll notice they have you know, search by area, search by price, search by style. So 
Here I am in the search townhomes by price page. And if I scroll down here, I could see, you know, right now I'm searching all the townhomes, but if I click, for example, under 500,000, this link right here, it goes to an internal page he has where he set the filter to only show townhomes under the price range of 500,000. And here it is. So you, you'll notice none of these listings are uh, over 500,000, which is great. So if I'm a potential buyer and I'm looking for townhomes, this is a very easy way for me to kind of conduct my search quickly and also beneficial for Google because I have a lot of pages um, built and they're all linking to each other. So th these are just two examples of some agents who are leveraging IDX who have proven um, benefits from this. We're, we're seeing thousands of hits and definitely uh, dozens of leads coming out of this. So before I continue, I want to show you how I would build a page. So if I, if I said, you know what, today I want to create a page with listings or otherwise known as an IDX page, uh, this is kind of what I do. Before I build any page, before I even touch anything to do with the back end of my website, I like to create what is known as a wireframe. And let me show you what that looks like. So you see here, now usually I would just use a pen and paper, but because we are, you know, I'm showing you a presentation, I did it on my computer using a basic photo editor. But as you can see, I just made a skeleton of what I envision my page to look like, how I want to build my page. So I know that I want to put a headline and a little description of the area. You know, I wanted to add some stats and some call to action and basically just, just a basic um, wireframe so that when I go to build my page, I could just follow this and I don't have to improvise, right? And I actually did this and I'll show you what I've built. So on, uh, in the back end of my website, I created a page called Square One Condos for Sale. So for those who are unfamiliar, Square, the Square One area, also known as City Center, is a very popular a community in the city of Mississauga, which is, I believe, the sixth largest city, um, at least in, in, in Canada. And uh, I, I just followed this exactly along. So if you look here, so this is the page I built, if you could see. So I have my, you know, I have my description. I added uh, um, some stats and I, you, know, you could see here, I put like the ROI, you know, days on market, average rental price. I added some color to give it some life. And, and then I'm going to add the listings and I'm going to do that with you guys. But as you can see, I just followed my wireframe. So let's just put them side by side. So I said, I'm going to have a headline. That's my headline square one condos for sale. I said that I'm going to put a description, which is exactly what I did. Then I have my second headline with a short description, exactly like I have it here on my wireframe. I have two call to actions. So condo evaluation, as well as daily condo alerts in the area. Uh, again, just like my wireframe and the stats one two three and then the last thing i wanted to do was put the listings right so th this is a great idx page it kind of follows the format so it's not just somebody coming here and seeing listings but just adding a little bit more oomph to the page we've added some life we've shown that you know we know what's going on in the area we're giving people some stats that really will excite them and also let them know that you know what's going on and then last but not least we want to put the listings so just like i showed you before here i am on my page that i built and at the bottom, I wanted to put listings. So it's very simple. I hit the pencil button here to open up the section. I'm gonna drag and drop the all listings widget right here. And again, so I want listings in this square one area, right? So um, specifically condos. So I'm only gonna show condos. I'm only showing for sale. And in terms of, it's not a city that I wanna show, it's a community. So I can actually filter by city, community, or address. So I'm gonna hit community. And this community is known as city center and every real estate board has their specific names for specific communities that don't always align with what people say. So if anyone's a member of the Toronto real estate board, you know that Etobicoke is not a, you know, it's not an area that Treb recognizes it, right? So you got, you got to know the exact name. So we have city center here in Mississauga and I'm showing condos, of course. Okay. And then I'm going to edit my display settings and let's hit add. So it's that simple. I just hit a few buttons, I hit save. So let's go back to this page and let's see what it looks like. So again, I have my headline, you know, I got my beautiful background. I have, you know, description of the area. I have some stats and here it is. All the listings, all the condos for sale in that community. These are all the square one condos. Um, and look, this is very powerful. So somebody can come here. They know exactly what they're looking for. And if they're interested in a listing, they can click on it. And here's the best part. They click on the listing and if they want to request more information, it's going to show your information. 
right? They fill out this form or they want to schedule a showing. All of these leads are going to go to you and not the listing agent. So again, this is a great way to leverage um, IDX. So that's generally how I build it. And if you want a, a tutorial on how I built a page that looks like this, if you like the look of this page where I have like a background and I have, you know, these overlays and all that stuff, I actually do have a tutorial where I actually do this step by step. Um, and I can send anyone who's interested. You could just send me an email and I'll provide my email at the end. And I will send you a link to the video where I build a page just like this from scratch. So time for marketing. So now that I've built my page, right? So I've built this page for square one listings, right? What, what now? Just having a page is not going to give you any benefit, right? Um, you have to market it. And this is true of anything. If I open a coffee shop, I have to market it. If I have business cards, I have to distribute them. So if I build anything on my website, whether it's a blog or an IDX page, you have to market it. And here are some ways that I would market IDX pages. So one way is email marketing. So if you know that you built a page and you know that some of your contacts would benefit from having access to these listings, you would share it through an email, right? Share the link through an email. So every page has a link. So this page has, this is the URL or the link. You just copy that link and you would share it through an email. Another way of doing it is uh, gain traction by building those internal pages. So like I was telling you, kind of like this website I showed you here where this agent built several pages and just linked them all together. This is a foolproof way to increase your traffic organically. So it's not going to cost you any money. It's going to cost you some time. But basically, when you do this, your ranking on Google is just going to skyrocket, right? The more pages you built and the more relevant they are, um, you just, you'll see a lot more traction coming to your website. And that's just an easy way to really market it. This is known as content marketing. Another uh, way to market your IDX pages is free or paid advertising through social media. And I'm actually going to show you an example of this in a minute. Um, but basically, when I say free social media, meaning you share the link on your, on your Facebook page, and when I say paid advertising, this is when you can actually use you know, Facebook's ad, uh, ad system to create an ad and advertise to the market of your choice. And then you could do paid advertising through Google AdWords. So if, if you're not familiar with what Google AdWords is, let me show you. If I go to Google right now, all right, let's go to google.ca, and I type in, for example, um, Bronte, which is a community in Oakville, Bronte Homes for Sale, right? You see these results right here at the very top where it has the word ad? This is a Google AdWord. This means that the agent or the company or the brokerage, they've paid to appear when somebody types in this query or this, this set of keywords. So this is known as Google AdWords, and this is a service that Google offers. It's one of their you know, number one ways of uh, making money. And it, it could be very powerful. It's a great way to get buyers to go to your website. So this is one of the ways that you could advertise your IDX pages. So any one of these that I click on, so if I click on this one, it's clearly gonna take me to a page with listings, as you can see here. Right. So they're paying for that, but uh, you only pay when somebody clicks, which is interesting. So you don't pay for showing up. You pay when somebody clicks on the ad. So the moment I clicked on that, uh, this agent or company paid for it. Now let's go to the social media because I wanted to show you guys uh, the way that Facebook works, for example. So if you go to your Facebook page and just like I'm doing here, you could see the web for realty page. You'll notice you have an option for the ad center right up here. So when you click on it and all of your pages will have this. You can just click on this promote button. When I click on promote, it's going to ask me, you know, how do you want to grow your business? Basically, you want to get more website visitors. So this is the one I would click on. You press next. And this is how you could set up your ad, right? So you're making an advertisement. So it's going to ask you first for the URL. So you would put the, 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 the link for the page that you built, right? Then you can uh, decide how you want your ad to look like. Will it be a single image? Will it be a video? Will it be a carousel or a slideshow? So you can pick what you want and you can upload any image you want. You would add a headline, a description, and then you could basically set your target market. So I know, for example, that the square one area is popular among young families, students, you know, that sort of thing. So I could actually set my criteria. So I can actually go here and edit. So I want to show both men and women. Um, again, I was saying, you know, from 19 years old to let's say 35 years old, and I could set my locations. 
right? So I, I want to show it to people living in Ontario, for example. Um, and then you could select your, you could select, you could do cities as well. So you could, you could say, I want to show it to people living in like Oshawa, for example. And basically you're setting your criteria for where your ads will be displayed. And this is a very good thing. So this way you're not wasting money. You're not showing this ad to somebody living in the U S right. You're making sure that this ad will show to all Facebook users who are within this age range who live in the areas that I've selected. All right. So it's pretty cool. And once you're ready, you just, you can set your budget. So you could basically say, you know, I, I want my ad to show for 10 days. My budget's $5 per day. And uh, it will give you some estimates of how many, you know, clicks that you can expect. And you take it from there. You just hit submit and the ad goes live and you could turn it off whenever you want. So this is a very easy way and, and a way that you have a lot of control of your budget and your audience, um, very, you know, using IDX. So that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to go through in terms of, you know, IDX listings integration. Okay, guys. So I, I, I really appreciate you joining the webinar. I hope that it was informative, that you've learned something. And um, I'm always here every, every two weeks. I do another webinar. So you will get the invite for the next one. And you will get an email tomorrow with the recording of this one. So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy your Thursday. Tomorrow's a big, uh, thank God it's Friday. However, I know that you agents, uh, weekends are never really weekends. But um, I mean, if you have open houses, good luck to those as well. All right. Take care, everyone.